Let's get right back to Kevin Garnett's story. This 20-year-old second-year forward has the Timberwolves challenging for their first playoff spot from the Minnesota Timberwolves, Kevin Garnett. I will never forget sitting in my office after the All-Star game. I got a phone call from a general manager who said, you know, Eric, I just want you to, to appreciate the fact that you've done a wonderful job with Kevin. I said, what are you talking about? And he said, just the way he handles himself, I watched him talking to the 50 greatest players and the respect and the love for the game. You did a great job. And I said, you know what? That's not me. I said, that's Kevin. That's the way he is. I've never seen so many zeros in my life. I've been on a calculator. You know, I was trying to solve a problem in class. <laughs> I mean, it was like, it was like heaven. Not, not just from the money standpoint that, you know, that had a lot to do with it, but just that I felt like everybody, you know, my mother, my little sister, you know, we can all be at ease now, you know? We can, we can sort of relax. You know, we're, we're gonna be okay. He is uh, a very unique person and how he handles himself. He's respectful of other people. He's, uh, he has leadership abilities. We had to do everything that was possible to keep him there. That was some of the things I want to do now, okay? Um, let's get your mom that house she wants. Let's get your mom them cars and that, and that little pearly white fence she wants. Let's do stuff to make yourself happy now, can't you? You know? Just your sister, you know? Make her where she's happy every day. And what makes Kevin Garnett happy? He created his own Minnesota family, bringing his closest friends from Beachwood Drive, South Carolina, to live with him. His family even has its own name. I take all those people and I surround them around because I know one thing, I love them, they love me. And I know some people say, well, you know, I, you gotta watch who your friends are. Well, you know, I learned that. Not that long time ago that you have to really watch who's around you and I know money doesn't do nothing but attract different types of people. Some are good, some are bad, but I've always think that I never want to find out. I'd rather stick to the people that I know and that's what OBF is. It's the people from the block, the official block of family. Equally important to Garnett are two men he looks to as father figures, teammate Sam Mitchell and Grammy award-winning record producer, Jimmy Jam Harris. I told him a long time ago, you know, it's nice to be known as a great basketball player and stuff, but, you know, when you finish playing basketball, you know, you have to be known as a person who cared about people, a good person. Uh, those are things that are important. Some people have the ability to make everybody around them better. And I don't mean only better basketball players, I mean better people, a better organization overall. Uh, and he's somebody that can do that. While overcoming the hardships of his past, Kevin Garnett has managed to keep life in perspective, both on and off the court. You know what hard time to go for? You have a vision of where you don't want to go, not only in the business side, but the basketball side. It's just easy to fall off once you say you got what you got. I haven't got that. And I've always said that I've been through a lot. I know if I can handle that, I can get through anything. First guy in the league to have his eye on Kevin Garnett, Isaiah Thomas, when he was running the Raptors. You scouted him back when he was a junior in high school. Yeah, and, and in the 95 draft, Mikhail and I were looking at Stoudemire and Garnett, and we couldn't decide which one we were going to take. And I remember when Mikhail went to the summer draft camp in Chicago, he was going to take Stoudemire. After watching Garnett play, he came back and he said, Zeke, I got to take Garnett. Tell me a little bit about him because there was a lot of controversy swirling around about him. I said, Kevin, he's a special kid. You'll like what you get. And by the way, if you don't take him, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah told me at the time he thought he should go to junior college. But, okay, you stick with that story, though, Isaiah. You know, I, I compare the impact that Garnett has had on professional basketball with the impact that Julius Irving had. Julius forced an ABA-NBA merger. This guy forced the owners to their knees and to change the collective bargaining agreement. Also, the exodus of high school players since he came out. Six guys have come out since Garnett. Did everybody think it's easy? Right. It's not right. easy. Yeah, and that it pays that well, which now it can't anymore.